Ok, this is my second hand Canon 100D, and in this short video I'll go through the settings I use for Magic Lantern Raw Video. Make sure you use a fast SD card as the files created will be very large. Press the trash button to enter Magic Lantern, here are the modules I load at boot up, crop rank, don't really use this. I think it enables high res video but uses a video crop which affects field of view. Lua, enables running of scripts at boot up, MLV light, this module enables raw video up to 14 bit. MLV sound enables sound recording. SDUHS is the module that provides SD card overclocking, needed for the high bit rates with raw recording. I usually set ISO to 100 to reduce noise, shutter speed to twice frame rate, in this case 24 frames per second to give 180 degree shutter, picture style is irrelevant as we are shooting raw. Global Draw controls the overlays on the live view screen. Zebras provides zebra lines for overexposed image areas, focus speaking gives visual indication of in-focus image with controllable parameters. Magic Zoom opens a zoomed in configurable window on the live view screen at assist focusing. Spot meter gives indication of overexposure between 0 and 255. Bitrate I set at default, increasing this will increase amount of data to be transferred to SD card affecting performance, FPS override determines frames per second, I use 23.976 for cinematic look, this can be set up to 60 frames per second for slow motion playback. Image fine tuning allows you to tune in the shutter speed to achieve exact 180 degree shutter for realistic motion blur. Raw video settings is where you set resolution and aspect ratio, I use 1736 by 868 at a 2 to 1 crop which gives me continuous recording on my SD card at 8 to 11 bit lossless recording. Sound recording does what it says on the tin. Digit picking and other settings can be set to taste but don't affect the recording. I set LV zoom to 10 times to get fine tuning of manual focus. The only script I set to auto run is the SD overclocking module. These final screens just give an indication of what you have mended from the defaults, once you have settings that work for you I recommend copying your SD card magic lantern folders to your PC or laptop so you can retrieve them if something subsequently goes wrong. Here's a short video in low light to show you what you can expect.